there, come meet the RF Fanbot, the R Rehab Fanbot, who provides innovative yet fun solutions to facilitate upper limb rehabilitation. In Malaysia, stroke or cerebral vascular disease is the third leading cause of death. Given the aging population and the rising number of stroke in young adults nationally, effort is required to continue improving stroke care services. According to the annual report of the Malaysian Stroke Registry, about 54% of the Malaysian stroke population needed some help for daily life activities due to the various degree of physical or cognitive disability. Rehabilitation after stroke begins at the hospital, often within a day or two after stroke. Current rehabilitation activities involve stacking cones, moving pins, and rubber band resistance exercises, which are repeated multiple times. This repetitive action can be monotonous, tedious, and boring. The RF Fanbot is a game-based arm rehabilitation robot. It consists of a portable arm rehab device, a remotely controlled grabber arm, a real-time scoreboard, and a rotatable platform. This platform has three patient-centric games that addresses the specific treatment goals of each patient. The games provide just the right level of challenge to the patient. It can help to improve the quality of life of patients for whom rehabilitation exercises become a fun game. Patients can check their progress over time through the scoreboard in real time. This innovative solution is in line with the United Nations SDG3, Good Health and Well-Being, which ensures healthy lives and promotes well-being to all at all ages. The RF member was built to improve the well-being of patients in your rehabilitation in mind. 1. It puts the fun in arm rehabilitation. 2. It helps patients return to autonomy quicker. 3. It has multiple games. 4. It contains comprehensive data that allows the monitoring of progress. And 5. It lessens the frequency of visits to hospitals. Let's start with the first game, the Rectangular Maze game. This rectangular maze is designed to improve the patient's arm functional movements, specifically point-to-point -point reaching. The aim of the game is to solve the maze by using the joystick shift handle to move the red diamond pin from start to finish. This is the grab controller, which remotely controls the up-down and open-close claw motions. This is operated by the patient's stronger hand. The weaker arm will be placed on the armrest, using it to move the red diamond pin along the maze. This begins the rehabilitation exercise and makes it fun and motivating as the patient can score points after completing each checkpoint. The points are displayed on the scoreboard in real time. Now, let's move on to the second game, the circular maze game. This circular maze is designed to improve the patient's shoulder movement and arm movement. Similar to the rectangular maze, the patient needs to use the grabber controller to move the claws to the blue pin. Then the training for the weaker arm starts by using the joystick-shaped handle to move the blue pin from the start to finish. Points are scored along the way. The timer will start when the game begins and ends when the patient completes the last checkpoint, scoring 100%. This helps the patient track their progress over time. And now we are moving on to the last game. The intensity of the game increases with this third game, the place a wine glass game. Here, the patient will place the color wine glasses from their original location to their corresponding color plates. Again, the stronger hand will control the grabber controller, and then the weaker arm on the armrest controls the joystick straight to move the wine glasses. Each correct task is given a score, and the patient can monitor their achievement over time. Each game also increases in complexity to help in making the rehab process more challenging and fun. The patient can choose the game to focus on their rehab goals and repeat them until he or she is comfortable before moving on to the next one. We were honored to have the stroke survivors from the National Stroke Association of Malaysia, NASAM, to come and test our RF robot. They gave us valuable feedback on how they enjoyed using our robot. Most importantly, they were touched to know that this robot puts their rehab needs in mind and encourages them not to give up. Our RF robot is powered by the EV3 intelligent rigs, large motor, medium motor, touch sensor, color sensor, and light sensor. We are using the EV3 programming software for our project. Our project has received multiple awards from the national as well as the international arena. They are 1. The National Robotics Competition 2022 in Sarawak, which we won gold. 2. The World Robot Olympia 2022 in Germany, which we won silver. And 3. The Optical Global Event in collaboration with PetroScience, which we are voted as the most innovative invention. These are our future product development roadmaps. We tend to include a leaderboard that displays the results of the patients, and we also tend to develop and integrate the RE Fanbot into a mobile app so that the patient can get feedback from doctors and therapists. Ladies and gentlemen, our RE Fanbot is more than just a solution to support good health and well-being. It helps to ensure healthy life and well-being for all persons with disabilities by giving them control over their rehab program. Isn't this the future of healthy life and promoting well-being for all at all ages?